guys, so today I'm going to share with you my December makeup basket. These are all the items that I will be using throughout the month of December. Kind of my basic necessities, main priority kind of things of my makeup collection. So if you're interested, then stay tuned. So let's start off with how I put on my makeup, my eyes. So my main go-to eye primer right now is the NYX High Definition Eyeshadow Base. So this is a drugstore primer and I absolutely love it. I've been using it every day. It has a nice applicator that is very easy to just apply on the lids, rub it in with your finger and is very, very nice. So it's kind of like a cream, almost like a cream skin toned kind of color, but when you kind of blend it into the skin. It helps with my eyes to like stop any of the veining, just kind of make all of the color one. It's not like a color correcting eyeshadow base, but it definitely helps a little bit with kind of making your eyelid all in one tone. I really, really like this stuff. This is cruelty free and I definitely recommend you pick it up if you are in the market for a new primer. This is the fantastic drugstore one. I really recommend it. Then I have an eyeshadow base here. This is from Laura Mercier. This is the Caviar Stick in Moonlight and I purchased this like about two years ago. It's definitely getting time to try and use it up. I had it in a project pan, so really that is all that I have left. These are fantastic cream eyeshadow sticks to just apply on your lid. Just as a quick and go kind of look, you can just apply this and wear it. It does crease throughout the day, so you can't wear it like for a full eight hour shift or anything like that, but it is a really nice color. Um, the best way to wear these, in my opinion, is using this as a base and then applying an eyeshadow on top of it. So sometimes I'll apply a gold eyeshadow on top of it a bit, but sometimes like when I'm just going to the grocery store, running out to dinner or something like that, I'll just throw this on, kind of use like a bronzer for my crease and I'm out the door. I really like this stuff and still going to be using this as my main base. Moving on to eyeshadows, you guys know that I have been painting my Lorac Pro palette this year and I still have about six eyeshadows left in this palette so I am definitely reaching for this a lot for the rest of the month. Then I have my Urban Decay Naked 3 palette. This is the next oldest in my collection. I really haven't been gravitating much towards these colors so I just really need to play with it. See what I want to do with this palette. Who knows if I'll do it this month but at least it's in here. And then I have my Sephora Colorful Matte Eyeshadow in the shade Let It Snow. This is in my 12 pans of Christmas and I use this kind of as a base for my shadow or I'll use it as my eyebrow kind of highlight shade for my eyes. Really like that. And then this other eyeshadow is a really fun eyeshadow to mix with a couple of the other eyeshadows from the Lorac Pro and the Naked 3. This is a little NARS. This is the Dual Intensity Eyeshadow in Cassiopeia. And the shade is gorgeous. It's like a duochrome white purpley kind of shade. Let's see if you can tell right there, but it is simply stunning on the eyes. I like to apply the shade Pewter all over the lid and then apply this kind of more on the inner half of the lid to just kind of brighten it up. It gives a nice like duochrome purple blue sheen that is really pretty. So I've been gravitating towards that a lot to use that, that shade up. And then my go-to glitter right now are the Stila Magnificent Metal glitters, I think that's what they're called. Yeah, Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow. And I have a ton of these in my collection, but this is my go-to, and this is the shade Sunset Cove. It is kind of like a pinky purple shade. I believe you can only get this at Sephora. But that is the shade right there. And then blending it out. So it's really pretty as an eyeshadow topper. I really love this shade. You can see that I have been making good use and progress of this thing. I don't want to use it up by any means, but this is still a liquid cream kind of product, so really doesn't last a whole year, but I'll definitely keep working on it and I'd repurchase that in a heartbeat. Then for my mascara, I have my Essence. This is a Lash Princess False Lash Effect Mascara. It is what's on my lashes today. It's a fantastic drugstore cruelty-free mascara. 
I love it and that's what it looks like. It's just perfect for every day. Just throw on. I have two coats on my eyelashes today and it's pretty good. Haven't found any shedding. I it lasts when I'm crying, all that kind of stuff. It's a fantastic mascara. Then I have another little palette here. This is the Too Faced Peppermint Mocha Palette, and this came from a Too Faced chocolate shop or like Grand Chateau, one of those little house sets that came during the Christmas time, either last year or the year before. And again, this is Peppermint Mocha. I have the shade Santa Baby as my blush for my 12 pans of Christmas, and this is the blush that I'm going to reach for on an everyday basis for the rest of this time until Christmas time. And yeah, you can see I have definitely made some use out of it. I don't think I'll be able to hit pan probably for that project, but I am still kind of keeping this in my everyday makeup basket, being conscious to use it up. And then I also have these pretty sick shades as well I can work on. Then I have my favorite. This is the Smashbox Step-by-Step -Step Contour Palette. Now I have this in my Rolling Project 10 pan. I really didn't touch it before then, but since it's been in that project, which I think is about five months long so far, um, I've been loving it. So it has a highlight shade, a bronze shade, and a contour shade. I'm wearing it today. I really like it. I like the highlight shade as my under eye setting powder. And I like using the bronzer for the bronzer, contour for the contour. It's just a really pretty, easy, everyday, all-in-one kind of set. I love this. I would totally buy a full size after I finish this. Then I have a highlight here. This is the Too Faced Candlelight Glow, Rosy Glow um, highlighter. And it has kind of like a pinky, peachy kind of shade. And then you also get a champagne color. So these are perfect to switch up. I don't know how well you can see that. But this is perfect to switch up because my go-to highlight is from my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Trio and I am obsessed with Incandescent Light which is the middle shade right there. It is the highlight which is on my face today. I have it topping the Becca, what is this? Opal Shimmering Skin Perfector Spotlight. So I have this Spotlight Cream Highlight underneath and then I topped it with the Hourglass and it gives a really pretty natural highlight look that I love for all year round. So definitely working on those and I have that Too Faced one if I want anything a little bit more shimmery, glittery. Then I have eyeliners. My favorite go-to liquid eyeliner is the NYX Epic Ink Liner. It is really perfect. I love it for every day. Makes a really great black line. Um, I used to love the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Liner. This, in my opinion, one is cheaper and two is cruelty free. Three doesn't have bad ingredients and four last a long day as well. So I definitely recommend you guys check out the NYX Epic Ink Liner if you haven't already. It's fantastic. I have my oldest eyeliner in my collection right now. This is the Lancome Noir Intense. It's like a liquid dra drama liquid pencil or drama liquid drama pencil. I don't know but this is where I'm at on that. I don't use pencil eyeliners all that much but I do apply it sometimes, so I wanted to have one in my bag. My nude eyeliner I use on a pretty consistent basis is the Essence Extreme Lasting Eye Pencil, Easy Glide Waterproof and Silky Nude. It's fantastic for the waterline. I love to use it on my waterline. It does last all day, and it's a fantastic drugstore pencil. My powder for all over my face, I love the Hourglass Dim Light from the Ambient Lighting collection and you can see I have hit pan on this. I already have a backup I purchased from this for sale this past month so I really like this stuff. Perfect for every day. It is the powder on my face today. I have a little primer base right here. This is the Burberry Fresh Glow Nude Radiance Luminous Fluid Base in number one. Love this stuff. I have it as my kind of primer today. It just gives my skin a nice luminous glow without being like too greasy, shiny, anything like that. It's just perfect for underneath my foundation. I love this stuff. Just wish Burberry was cruelty free. Foundation every day is my Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation. This is just a tried and true. I purchased three or four bottles of this already in the past, used them up, and still working on this. This is pretty much almost less than halfway done. 
So I already have a backup of this as well, but it's my go-to foundation. The other kind of primer I have is a Cover FX Illuminating Primer. I have this little sample that I pulled from my hashtag 365 days of samples. Link the playlist down below. But um, yeah, so I haven't really touched this because I am focusing so hardcore on my Burberry Fresh Glow because this is in the 12 Hands of Christmas. So I'll be pulling this next once I use that up. Concealers, I have my Urban Decay and Naked Skin Color Correcting Fluid in Peach. It is perfect for putting under your eyes. I do kind of two dots on each side. Use a Blue Blender or my finger or my finger just to pat it in. And it's perfect for just color correcting your under eyes for the blue kind of tones. And then I'll top that with my Too Faced Born This Way naturally radiant concealer this is a lot lighter of a concealer in like thickness so it's really easy to pair with that color correcting fluid I also use this kind of on any blemishes throughout my face but it's not my favorite concealer but it's okay I'll keep using it brows I've really been gravitating towards just using brown eyeshadows in my collection so right now I'm using from my Lorac Pro palette the espresso and sable eyeshadows I have sable in my brows today but for quick and go looks I want to reach for something fast this is the essence make me brow eyebrow gel and this is fantastic for me to just kind of brush into my eyebrows and it's a quick and go look and it has like a little spoolie right there that's just perfect to apply this I have used one of these up in the past and this is my second go round then I have two lipsticks that I am working slash testing out maybe um, this is my YSL Rouge Voluption in number two, Purple and Can Touchable. It is what is on my lips today. I really like this stuff. I will not be repurchasing this um, once I use it up. I have used up a different shade in my collection, but YSL is not cruelty free, so I will not be repurchasing. But like I said, this is the shade that is on my lips. I really like it. Um, I asked you guys in my last video if you had any dupes for the Clinique Black Honey Almost Lipstick, I think that's what it's called, and a couple of y'all talked about Burt's Bees Red Delilah, or yeah, I think it's Delilah, and I actually picked up the Burt's Bees Red Delilah Tinted Lip Balm, and it does... It's a pretty good dupe. It's not exact. It's definitely more of a tinted lip balm than a lipstick, but I really like it. I just purchased it today, and it's pretty good. I definitely recommend you guys check that out if you were looking for a dupe for that lipstick. Then the fun, um, crazy lipstick that I will be kind of working, trying to figure out if I really want in my collection. This is the Urban Decay, what is this, Frostbite Rouge... Oh my gosh, Urban Decay Cream a Lipstick in a Frostbite. And this is blue with some sparkle to it. That is what it looks like. We'll see. I don't know. I have this like for fun, but lipsticks do go bad. And I do believe I've had this probably for over a year. And it's just time to work on it and see if I'm really going to use it. If I want to use it up, pan it, just have in my collection. Which I don't really want the oldest kind of lipstick in my collection because honestly this is the oldest in my collection then I have the nude sticks mystic lip pencil which I lost because it's so small now I've been sharpening it and using it so much and putting like in my pockets or my purse I can't find it right now that's the second oldest and then this is the third I have so many other lip products so I might just end up de-stashing that or what, but this month, if I don't use it, which is a fun month to use, it if I wanted to, it's just kind of my, like, what do I want to do with that lipstick month? And then the last thing that I am going to be working on is my YSL Mon Paris fragrance. This is the oldest fragrance in my collection. I love the scent of this. Yes, it's kind of more of a spring, summery scent, but you know what? It makes... We smell good. I love the smell of it and I love it so that I don't feel bad using it. This is a fantastic fragrance. So that is the items that are in my December makeup basket. Let me know if you have tried any of these products out, if you have any recommendations, if you want to see a look, things like that. Let me know in the comments down below and be sure to subscribe for more videos. I'll talk to you in my next one. Bye!